Hey, what's up, you two? This is Bear Reefs. Um, making a update, but really, uh, I got challenged last night to the 10 question, the 10 question challenge by uh, Rad Press. Um, so I don't know like the history about this uh, 10 question challenge. I, I kind of looked into it a little bit today. I've been real busy, but it's something I guess Psychedelic Babe came up with. Um, I thought it was pretty cool, you know. Um, I, I seen a couple today and uh, Rad challenged me uh, Mang and uh, uh, Torres, jo George Torres last night. So um, I got the challenge. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do it for you guys. Um, the other thing is I got, just got done with a water change about an hour ago. The lights were shut down, so some of the corals you can see, like this guy, this Acan here. He's they're hungry. Lights were out 10 minutes ago, and I turned it on for the video. But uh, yeah, they're they're all right. So all right, guys. Here's the uh, number one of the 10 questions so uh, fish only or reef um, that's a hard one for me because I really like angelfish um, if I had to pick one I would say a reef um, even though you know angelfish are really nice I think with a big enough reef tank you can kind of supplement them with tangs so I'd have to say a reef uh, number two soft or hard corals um, I couldn't really pick on that I would have to say I would do both. Um, that's what this one's gonna be. Uh, that's what I think I'd always do. I, I had the uh, stick bug, if you wanna call it, um, SPS. I was thinking, oh man, look at all these, and was only looking at SPS tanks. But then again, there's a lot of nice soft corals, you know, LPS, some soft corals that are really nice. So I don't think that I could just stick to one. I, I would do a, a mix always. I, I don't think I can pick one or the other. Um, question number three, my favorite coral. Well, my favorite corals this week, I mean, I go through this a lot, but I'm actually, I really like the Acans, man. I'm like all into Acans right now. And um, I don't know, there's just something about them, you know. They just, I don't know, they look really good. There's a few out there that I really, I really want want to get. But if I'd have to say my favorite coral, I kind of flip-flop. I'll see one next week and maybe this would be different next week, but I'd have to say my favorite are Acans. Um, number four, my favorite fish. Well, my favorite fish, I have them. He's the uh, powder blue tang. Uh, there's something about them, you know, those type, the powder blue or powder brown. I mean, nothing against the other tangs. They're just their personality, the way they look, you know, I mean, they're not aggressive. I, I mean, maybe some people had aggressive ones. Um, but I don't know. He's just, he's honestly, man, I love that fish. He's like, he's just a really, really cool fish. Um, I've always wanted, a, you know, since the first time I seen him, I wanted the powder blue. So I'd have to say that the powder blue is, is my favorite fish after this guy, you know, hopefully lives with me for a long time, but I'd always have one of those fish. So question number five, my least favorite coral. I would have to agree with Brad, uh, the pulsing Xenia. Um, I had another tank that I've never filmed, and uh, it was just a little tank. I was trying a little reef, and I bought pulsing Xenia because my daughter liked them. And um, they just really got crazy in that tank, and I took them out. And it was funny because I actually had an anemone in there. And I never filmed this tank, so um, it was just something for my daughter. And uh, the anemone ate some of them. It was like, I don't, it was weird. You know, some I, I took off the rock and it was blown around the tank and it actually fell in and the an enemy ate some, but I thought I had them out of the tank and man, they were just popping up everywhere. So um, I'd have to say the Xenia, the pulsing Xenia is, uh, I would never get it again. Um, number six, my least favorite fish. I don't, I don't have a least favorite fish. I mean, I think, you know, there are some fish that are just plain, maybe some ugly. Like I do have that scooter blenny that is horribly an ugly fish. But at first, you know, when my daughter seen him, um, she wanted him. I was like, I don't want this fish, you know. And then he kind of grew it. I think all fish grow on people, you know. So I can't say I don't. I have a least favorite fish, but I do. I have probably one of the ugly, <laughs> ugliest fish, which is a scooter blenny. But he, he's cool, man. I I actually like that fish a lot now. He's in the quarantine. I, I actually worry about him. So, um, yeah, he's a, he's a cool fish. So, question number seven. Homemade or commercial food? 
Um, I would go with commercial. I figure people get paid to come up with the recipes to get the fish vitamins and whatever they need. Um, I know you could probably get all this stuff and do it. I don't like the smell of it, to be honest. If I was to do something like that, put it in my freezer, freeze it. So I would stick to a, com a commercial food, pellet food. Um, yeah, I mean, I would try to make a frozen food one day, but other than that, I, I think I would honestly stick with the uh, commercial food. So question number eight, do I prefer LEDs, T5s, or meter halides? Um, I never had metal headlights. Um, I did have T5s at the beginning when I first start, got into reefing. And um, I mean, they work, I guess they work, you know what I mean? I'm more worried about the, uh, like the power consumption, I guess at the time. Um, you know, I'm an electrician, so I, you know what I mean? I, I think, uh, I think LEDs, there is some really good LEDs that can grow the coral good. Maybe T5s would do a better job. Um, I, I guess I think more about the bill and you know what lasts longer. So I would prefer LEDs. That's what I run now on both my tanks. I, I think I'll always probably run LEDs. Um, just you know, hopefully down the line, I heard they're coming up with even some better stuff. So question number nine: What would be my dream tank? Um, my dream tank would probably be anywhere from. Eight to ten feet long, uh, by two feet by two feet. Um, I like more of a shallow reef, um, but I also want something pretty long. So uh, that would be be my dream tank, just so I could you know reach in. I don't have uh, the tanks not too deep, and um, and I still have the uh, the variety of of making somewhat of a really long but shallower reef. Um, so that's the questions and I guess question number 10 would be to challenge three more people. Um, I just want to say this is, you know, this is pretty cool. Uh, I like this. I like what Psychobel Psychedelic Babe's doing. Uh, thanks for challenging me, Rad. And uh, now my, my, t my, my three people that I want to challenge is I'm going to throw this out to uh, Mofo's Reef. I think he'd be good. Um, Fisher Hex. And you know what? I'm going to throw a little curve in there. I'm going to throw this to my, my boy, Mike Lemming. Um, so I challenged them three to do the 10 questions that Psychedelic Babe came up with. Um, this has been cool, man. Thanks, Rad, for challenging me. Thanks, Psychedelic Babe, for coming up with this. And uh, happy reefing.